every man, you know, is shaped by his experiences. I like to show the relevance of my work to shaping society. And even the portraits that I make, you know, I'm trying to say something. As an artist, you know, who is supposed to critique or give a commentary on society, I think that's the primary role of an artist. I've had the privilege of uh, watching my father work. I've had the privilege of reading from history books, you know, and having my own uh, role models. I have uh, been able to imbibe from some of these great men like my father, like Rembrandt, and bring my own stamp of authenticity to it. As long as you can move the boundaries from this point to that point, you know, making sure you credit those that came before you, then you have contributed some sort of knowledge to that body of work. Mentally, the first thing is I like to dress up. I feel that uh, it gives me an air of seriousness. If I'm painting uh, masquerades, I like to listen to Anicca music, folk music. Uh, I have uh, a lot of those. Um, I collect old CDs and I'm really sad because uh, they're kind of going out of fashion now. So I have almost 3,000 CDs. I've always found uh, things that have a story. Interesting, and even when I collect even pieces of furniture just to decorate my own little space, you know, I always like to curate them myself. I believe that the very foundation of art is in drawing. You must be able to capture things with uh, the stroke of your pen. I uh, work with an underlayer, which allows me to block out the areas of light and dark straight away. And that's why you can see in my work, um, you know, it starts with a very brown underlay before I start to apply the colors. So many people think that maybe a work is finished, but I know that I still have a long way to go. Once I start, you know, then I usually can't stop. And most of the time you have to drag me away from the canvas because it just keeps coming. And I never like to leave my canvas if I'm inspired at that moment, because when I go back, it's never the same. The most complete form of art is the masquerade. It embraces so much. Uh, in the um, headgear and the mask, you see sculpture. The sculptures are painted to give it some color and give it life. Uh, the costume is another form of art. The dance performance is another form of art. You know, the drums beating in the background, the music another form of art. So for me, it's that spectacle. So I'm not afraid of it, but I'm enchanted by the masquerade. And that's what I want to you know, push forward in my work that sense of enchantment, that sense of the beauty of our ancestry. We're a people that have a very close connection with our ancestry, the people that draw from a deep sense of history. And for me, I want to show people that I'm proud of who I am, because I feel that every man is shaped by his history, and your history tells you where you're going in the future. Womanhood is um, at the very center of creation, I mean, we're all born of women. And when you think about how we are formed and how we are given birth to, it's a very important and spiritual process. Most of my paintings are of women. When you look historically at portraits, you know, from the Western canon, you find that the black people are portrayed as slaves or even completely absent. When I want to represent something beautiful, I think straight away of a woman. And when I want to show Africa away from the negative stereotypes, you know, I think what best way to do this than to show a beautiful woman, you know, her beautiful skin, you know, her elegance, her poise, her charm, you know, her sense of confidence. For me, that is the representation of an Africa that I want to see. I've also learned a lot from my father and his work. He always believed that art came from the spirit world, you know, and I see a lot of that in my work as well because uh, I like to paint the masquerades, you know, and for me the masquerades, you know, inhabit the realm between the physical and the spirit world. And for artists, you know, it's a very spiritual exercise because you're drawing from within and you're able to translate that into physical form and give life to it. So you must be in tune with your spirit. And the best art is actually created when you're in complete tune and harmony with the spirit and the physical in your hands, your mind, everything works together. The world is coming to Africa now. 
getting works from us for cheap, you know, selling internationally on the, on the international market. Our stories are being still told for us, you know, without, there's so much that needs to be done to sustain our growth. You know, I don't see why we can't have proper institutions, you know, residencies. And I feel that uh, if we're not careful, the gains that uh, we have will only be transient.